Hi guys, welcome to another SketchUp tutorial. So today we are going to talk about how to export your Android Studio, sorry, SketchUp project to Android Studio with Firebase libraries and AdMob libraries only. So make sure uh, you watch the full video, else you won't understand uh, each step. So you will uh, you will get errors and don't uh, let me know. Please watch the full video so you will understand how to export and how it works. So first of all, uh, you need a project with Firebase and AdBob. So I have already created a project uh, which contains Firebase and AdBob because uh, it wastes my t it wastes the time I showed the video. So uh, I just created this app, uh, this project which contains uh, Firebase and uh, AdMob. So you can see uh, there is a banner ad and show ad and if you have seen the previous video uh, I have implemented how to make a Firebase uh, how to export a project with Firebase only pro libraries so in that I have used this project uh, which is uh, you can add data and data will be added to a real-time database so as you can see I will go for library and the app compact and design is enabled Firebase is enabled and AdMob is enabled so you can see now it's enabled so sh shall we run and see the export the final apk so you will you will understand what are the content in the app so this is this will be the project that we i'm gonna uh, export actually so uh, make sure you have downloaded the latest version of Android Studio in your PC uh, because else it won't work uh, else uh, it will be like differentiation because version by version Android Studio differs and the APK is building now so it's working so now let's see what is the app content So now it's installing. Let's open the app. Okay, uh, this is the app. Um, it shows an interstitial ad. It shows it should the, when you click the show ad, it will show an interstitial ad, and this is a banner ad. And uh, I just clicked the banner ad. So you just click add data. Sorry. So this is the app. So when you click add data, uh, the data will be gathered and getting the data from the data visual time database. And when you show add, it will show an initial add. So this is the project. So what you have to do is uh, you have to go to the sketch here um, and export to Android Studio. Save the project and long press the project. This is the long press and export and put export source code okay it says test file based android mode is exported so what you have to do is now you have to copy these and put your desktop and list shift to the computer so i have shifted to uh, my desktop so this is my desktop and uh, i have copied the project uh, the exported from SketchUp to the desktop which is test firebase add more so what you have to do is extract is it's uh, it's uh, the extension is zip so what you have to do is extract so if you have raw software you can easily extract files click ex right click and uh, click extract files and it will be extracted files and please uh, click ok here and uh, it will be come up here so this is the uh, file these are the files of the project so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Android Studio Make sure you have the latest version and uh, drag and drop this folder to here so it will be open. So it will be open and uh, make sure you, you do nothing because in here there will be some processing. You can see as you can see there will be some processing here. So make sure you won't do nothing uh, while it's building and if it's paused make it recent. So it's building the Gradle and it's building, it's downloading libraries. Please make sure that 
uh, your project is connected to the internet else it won't work as you see so there are some codings and there are some things that you have to know when you uh, export uh, firebase and admob libraries project to android studio there are some things you have to get to know so as you can see uh, the libraries are already as my internet is fast so it's downloaded in, in simple time so you can see uh, i can see now uh, we can build it make the project and this is okay and uh, emulator also is okay uh, and everything is okay because i won't i won't get errors but uh, if you see if i gonna run the project it uh, will get some errors actually actually it will get some errors so let's see what are the errors so let's uh, compile it to api 27 and let's run the project so as you can see uh, it's running so let's see the build and the emulator is open so let's see the build so it says failed no okay um, no, okay as i um, as I exported from a mod of AJS code, please make sure uh, if you are adding or if you are um, exporting something, uh, AJS code has uh, put its own jar file, make sure you delete it, else it won't work because it's useless, useless uh, project. So let's run. Uh, now it's building, so now it's working per perfectly. So don't care about this error so let's see so it's building and I think it's build so let's click this one and as you can see it's not opening actually let's see what are the errors you, you are getting okay here you can see two error logs Let's see log tab. Okay, let's change to the emulator. So let's try to. Sorry, my emulator stopped. So let's wait some time. Okay, let's close this one and start the emulator. So you can see now we got errors. Um, sometimes the emulator won't work because of some issues. Okay, let's start to run the emulator first and then let's run the project. It's good. So it's still okay. That's it. It can serve us. So uh, make sure uh, if you have a good PC or good RAM, uh, the emulator will work fine. Fine. As I have 32 of RAM, still uh, uh, the emulator won't respond sometimes. So what I do is I change the emulator sometimes. So I will change to 30 or something. So I will close this one. I won't use it. Okay, so we'll, it will close. Okay, this is one. Okay, this is a pair twenty nine. Okay, since this works, so let's change to email to pixel API twenty nine thirty. So this is the. So since this also no longer work, oh, it's working. Sometimes the apps are not working. Okay, let's try for emulator 29. So still, let's with 27 because 27 is uh, much better for running because every user has. Uh, okay, uh, now it's working. So it uh, the emulator was switched off because of not responding. So now it's owning and it will work. So there are some errors you will get actually from uh, if you export, especially in Admo libraries. So I will be fixed in those step by step. So you will understand how it works and how it will be fixed. So make sure you uh, change the locat to emulator 27 and let's try. Okay, now it's working. So let's uninstall this one. So, so you can see I have not installed previously. Okay, it's uninstalled. You can see no one is, nothing is there. So let's run. Make sure it's Pixel API 29 of your the running emulator. It's better if you run the emulator first and then you run the app um, if you have low RAM or something. So it is crashing. Okay, it's crashing. It stay. It, it says test five base has has stopped. So you can see uh, you can go if you have like this. If you go to log, if you click log cat, and it says some 
uh, it says an error so it says uh, this error google has to initially incorrect so publisher you should follow the instruction so if you get this errors make sure you copy this url okay copy this url copy and open google so i am just opening firefox and paste it and this is one link and there's another link this one so paste that one also i'll open another tab paste okay so what he's saying is uh, you should add the app id here copy copy it so you have to copy this code and you should right click copy and you should add to the manifest of your project and the manifest so which you will see here so better you put at the end like here okay i just have implemented make sure you remove this useless code and in here you have to add your app id if you're using um if you're using a real admob make sure you copy your admob id which is so this is the test one uh, which uh, which was published by admob developers so this is test app id make sure this is a, only a test id make sure if you are using real ads make sure you get from the admob and you paste it here and so let's go to the other side so which is this so we should put this one copy it and paste it here okay done so now it's uh, no you won't see errors i think okay main activity sometimes uh, so it's there okay okay now let's try to run the project so you can see here okay grand list building installing and it's installing and it's opening and it's opening right and bingo so i think it's working uh, you can click show ads and it's showing the interstitial ads and if you see add data the fiber is also working and i have to tell something here uh, if you are getting some errors again and again uh, it's because of the banner ad actually uh, because show interstitial ads and rewarded the ads are working on that case so what you have to do is um, if you are getting an error like uh, a framework error so what you have to do is go to the uh, activity which you have the banner ad uh, which in my case it's uh, main activity and go to the its xml file actually which is main excel so in that uh, you have to place add mob with uh, i think it's here okay so when you export from sketcher uh, this will be like this sometimes it will be like this okay so sometimes it will be like this so what you have to do is uh, if you have something like this for the add view uh, you have what you have to do is you have to place this code sorry you have to place this code com.google.android.gms.ads.addview so you have to place this one because sometimes android studio won't uh, put this code and sometimes it will put so make sure if you get still the errors, uh, not the Android manifest error, this error, the like a framework error, uh, the main error is uh, you had to place this uh, com google dot android dot jms dot ads dot add view these extensions. Else it's like something like only like this. If you're getting errors, it's something like this. So you had to put this error in every activity you have the add more banner. So if you have the add more banner. Uh, you have to place this code so now let's try to run again so make sure i have placed only the test ids so these are test id ads so you can see okay test ad is working banner ads also working show ads so integer ads also working and firebase also working if i click add data so okay so this is the full video so hope you understand how to export uh, sketcher project to android studio uh, with the libraries of firebase and AdMob only so maybe my next video will be uh, how to export with the multiple libraries uh, with including firebase and admob and with multiple uh, libraries like view pager actually someone requested me uh, to do which is cosic 
uh, which is my, like my brother and uh, he's requested because he also a good developer he's uh, uh, a good developer of uh, making apps so maybe if in the future we may make a collaboration video so we can help all the sketcher developers to their fix their issues so hope you like this video and please subscribe thank you